I'm here on the Cplex Plastics Cruise to look at the interactions between bacteria and uh, plastics in the ocean. The reason I'm interested in marine bacteria is because they're very important in the ocean. Marine bacteria are a natural part of uh, seawater communities and they're, you can think of them as the ocean's primary recyclers. It's kind of like in your compost. When you add your organic matter to your compost, your bacteria break that down into these good nutrients that you can then use to grow other plants. Um, bacteria in the ocean are like that in the sense that you have a lot of marine life that dies and bacteria are responsible for the decay process that breaks that down and releases new nutrients so that other organisms can use that to grow. So without the bacteria, this loop uh, shuts down and I'm very interested in the different bacteria that are responsible for different parts of that loop and different processes and how that sort of process changes upon adding plastic. So what I'm sampling and uh, well, doing while I'm out here on this plastics cruise is um, using CTD, which is a conductivity temperature depth recorder. It's um, a large instrument with a bunch of Niskin bottles and you lower it over the side and it can take water samples from different depths and I'm using uh, that water that comes up from depth, well, the different depths, to look at the bacterial, natural bacterial community composition in the seawater. So what is not attached to particulates or is attached to very small biological particulates. And then I'm going to take plastic samples, sort of at the same time from the surface, with dip net um, off the side and collect those samples and run um, genetic analyses on them to determine what the bacterial communities on the biofilms are. I'll also have bacterial samples from uh, the flow through on the ship, which is about three meters depth, so superficial waters, that will tell me what the near surface uh, bacterial community is. The purpose of all of this is to be able to compare um, the bacterial communities in the natural seawater with the bacterial communities on the plastics. And it's really important to understand that this trash and these bacterial biofilms, often from medical equipment and all, all sorts of nasty things, wind up out in the open ocean and that we don't really understand the effects of these both introduced bacteria and then the natural bacteria that are making use of this plastic, which can have effects on nutrient cycling um, and food webs in the ocean, which ultimately affects us.